London town, I had an absolutely fantastic time. We didn't do the kind of touristy things that you associate with people, like you'd associate with London. Um, and don't think this the wrong way, the kind of things that you two would probably do if we came, if you guys came down to London. Um, we didn't go to see Buckingham Palace, we didn't see the Houses of Parliament, we didn't see Big Ben, we didn't see the London Eye. We didn't do any of those things. Um, we went to the British Museum, um, which was fantastic. Not really my thing, I'm more into art galleries than museums, I don't know why, I just kind of like the atmosphere of them more. And um, so it was fantastic, but I didn't appreciate it that much. And we went to see Wicked um, at the West End, which was phenomenal. It was, oh, it was just amazing. I can't tell you how much I loved going to see Wicked. I bought the soundtrack the next day because I loved it so much. Um, so yeah, uh, that's pretty much all we did. And it does, and we did those two things in a day. So it doesn't sound like we've that I would have had that much of a good holiday considering I was away for four days. But I've had an absolutely fantastic time. On the day we got there, um, we got up at 7 and got the train, 6 hour train from Glasgow to London and we got there about 2 and a bunch of us wandered about um, a few of the guys went to bed thinking oh we'll just get up in an hour or so and then they got up at about 9 um, um, so I walked about uh, the Bloomsbury area which is where we were staying and I wandered around the hostel that we were staying in called The Generator and I bought a bunch of books and we just kind of took in the sights because it was a really beautiful area that we were in. It was full of fantastic buildings and it was just, it was nice, it was just so beautiful. The next day um, was when we went to the museum and we went to see Wicked. Um, Wicked by the way if you don't know is a musical, a theatre production, a musical based on the novel Wicked which is based on the Wizard of Oz and it tells the story of the Wizard of Oz from the perspective of the witch and it turns out that she's she's not wicked at all she's very nice and all that it was oh it was absolutely fantastic mm, my phone's going never mind um the day after that we missed about 20 minutes of the start because of um, an incident that occurred that I, I don't really want to get into because it's kind of it involves another member of my class. It's nothing bad, but nothing like sinister. They didn't get in a knife fight or anything, but um, probably best I don't talk about it here. But because of that um, incident, the next day we couldn't really do anything because we couldn't. Um, go to the places. We were meant to be going to the Tate Gallery, but we couldn't really. Um, that and there have, I don't know if you guys know this, but there have been riots in London all week um, because of the G20 summit. So because of those two things we were kind of limited in where we could go. So me and my friend Caitlin just um, kept going up and down Oxford Street and just chatting and hanging out. And the day after that we got up and we came home and it was genuinely a wonderful trip I know that it doesn't sound all that spectacular because we haven't done much but I really got to know all of my classmates a lot more um, there were classmates that I didn't really like when I went that I that I adore now and just oh I think they're fantastic um, my lecturers I got a chance to like sit down and just chat with for ages. Um, I talked with my lecturers just about films and stuff that I liked and just oh, we just went on for ages for hours and it was it was it was really good. It was fantastic to get the time to talk with them, um, kind of outside the classroom environment. So yes, it was I had a genuinely fantastic time. I'd, I would so go again. And I will be going again next year. The, this is an annual trip, so when I'm in my second year, we'll be going again, and it'll be great. So yes, um, 
I hope you guys have had a wonderful week. Um, I hope you're glad to see me back. And Jesse, I will see you tomorrow.